how to set up Google Analytics correctly in 2019. Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Shri Kanase and welcome to another Shopify video. In this video, we're going to be discovering how to correctly set up Google Analytics on your Shopify store so that you can get a bunch of valuable data right from the get-go. Any data when it comes to online business is super valuable mainly because that data lets us decide how we want to move forward with our business. Whether it be metrics for Facebook advertisements or Google Analytics, having it correctly set up is really going to improve your chances of figuring out where you're going wrong or if you're doing really well, how to even do better. But like always, if you're new to my channel, Pause this video really quick for just one second and smash that subscribe button down below. And without further ado, let's just jump right into this. All right guys, so you're going to be needing two main things in order to set up Google Analytics. You're going to be needing a Gmail account and you're going to be needing a Shopify store. We're going to assume that you already have your Shopify store set up. And this tutorial is for those people who are completely new to Shopify and want to set up their Google Analytics. But it is also for those who are unsure whether they have correctly installed Google Analytics to their Shopify store or not. So the first thing that we want to do, and this applies to those people who may have already tried setting up Google Analytics or failed miserably, is to check to see if we have any type of Google Analytics code on our Shopify store already. And if we do have any type of code, we wanna delete that right away. So the first thing that you guys want to do in order to check for this is go ahead and click on online store on the left. And once that loads up, the main thing that we wanna do is come down to our theme and go ahead and click on actions. This is where we're going to be figuring out whether we have any code installed or not. Next thing we wanna do is click on edit code. We're going to be checking for some code in our theme.liquid file. And once this page has loaded up, you want to go ahead and from layout, go ahead and click on theme.liquid. This is where we're going to be searching for particular code. Now I'll have the code in the description below what you want to search for, but these are the three things that I've outlined here, which we're going to be searching for. We want to do this one by one. So go ahead and copy this and come over to your theme.liquid file and press control F or command F if you're on a Mac and go ahead and paste it. If nothing comes up, that is a good sign, which means we have not set up any type of code or Google Analytics on our Shopify store. Just to be safe, you wanna go ahead and search for all of the code I have mentioned in my list, but for this tutorial and for the sake of time, I'm only gonna search for the first one. So now that we have confirmed that we do not have any type of Google Analytics code set up on our store, let's go back to our online store, but this time we wanna click on preferences. This is where we're going to be setting up Google Analytics. This is the page that should load up and just scroll just a little bit down and you'll see that we have a section for Google Analytics. And this is where we're going to be pasting the code that we get from our Google Analytics account. Now that we're on this page, let's go ahead and go to a new Google search and all you have to do is type in Google Analytics in the search bar. And it is the first link which you want to go ahead and click. And this is where the Gmail account comes into play. If you guys don't have a Gmail account, go ahead and create a brand new one, but I have already created a Gmail account for this tutorial, and I'll see you guys once I sign in. All right, guys, once you sign in, or if you sign up, if you haven't already, for a Gmail account, you're going to land on this page. This is the main entrance to Google Analytics, and we're going to have to create a brand new Google Analytics account as well in order to connect that with our Shopify store. So. Let's go ahead and click on sign up. This is where we're going to be entering info related to our Shopify store. So for the account name, for this tutorial, we're just gonna name it test account. Let's go ahead and type that in. And for website name, again, pretty self-explanatory. You wanna enter your website's name. For our tutorial, we're going to write test store. And website URL, go ahead and go to your Shopify store and just copy and paste that URL into this link over here. Make sure to take out the HTTPS because it's already chosen. And be sure to check if it's HTTP or HTTPS. Once that's done, we wanna go ahead and scroll down to industry category. Now this is where we get to choose the category that we are in. If you're in any of the other categories, go ahead and pick the one that is most relevant to you. But if you're a Shopify dropshipper, you want to scroll all the way down and go ahead and click on shopping because that is what we're trying to do. We have an online store that and we're trying to sell products. Reporting time, choose your own specific time. Since I live in California, it's going to be Los Angeles time for me. Data sharing settings, this is up to you. It doesn't really matter whether you check it or not. All it does is gives 
Google information on how well your Google Analytics is going so they provide better technical support to you but let's go ahead and click on get tracking ID because this is what we need in order to install it correctly on your Shopify store so once you click on the blue button it's gonna show you this specific bar just go ahead and click on I accept the data processing terms and again click on I accept and go ahead and finish that and once you do that this is what you should see this is the main page where we get our tracking ID now that we have come to this page the main thing that we're interested in is this global site tag right here. This is what we're going to be copying and pasting in our Shopify preferences tab. So go ahead and copy the entire thing and go back to your Shopify store. And where it says Google Analytics account, we want to go ahead and paste our code in this bar right here and go ahead and click on save. Once you hit save, you should see that it shows you a specific account number for, for the text bar over here. And if we go back to our Google Analytics page, it should match the number that we have up here which is our tracking ID and if it does match that means that you're pretty much set up and good to go and now all you have to do is basically start sending visitors to your website or you can just wait about 48 hours because if you go on our status page for Google Analytics it lets us know that there has been no data received in the past 48 hours so if you wait for just a few more hours it should start updating if you have set it everything up correctly but that is all for the google analytics tutorial guys if you found value in this video make sure to drop a like it really motivates me to put out even more videos just like these ones and i'll see you guys next time